camera off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, yeah, this is fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> Feels passion. I know. <laughs> I'm I'm awful at this, but I'll try. Okay. All right. This is an exciting time in minimally invasive GYN surgery, where we no longer require. Uh, traditional uh, incisions to perform uh, and finish an operation. Uh, we're dedicated uh, and committed to offering the best care in the, in the area and therefore we uh, are utilizing the state-of-the-art technology, the Da Vinci robot. Um, <clears throat> if you're, if you're uh, requiring a hysterectomy, that is removal of the uterus, uh, for reasons such as bleeding or fibroids or a cyst or a tumor, we recommend, uh, I strongly recommend the Da Vinci hysterectomy. And I can just say, you know, the Da Vinci hysterectomy. <coughs> but um, what we really, we don't want this, we want this to be like an educational piece. Benefits of robotic surgery as opposed to more traditional surgery. Yeah. Well, the benefits, after, after I say all this, or, or just, just say it? Yeah. Well, well, the benefits to robotic surgery is uh, that it involves uh, smaller incisions, so you have less uh, moving of tissue, you have less blood loss, you have less pain, you have a less chance of a wound to become infected, you have less hospitalized uh, or hospitalization stay, and what that tra uh, translates to is that you'll be able to heal quicker, you'll be able to have a faster recovery, and uh, uh, get back to work and back to your usual activities, uh, usually within two weeks, as opposed to a traditional six to eight weeks. And what are some of the um, other indications for robotic surgery? Well, other indications uh, for robotic surgery include uh, removal of fibroid tumors, uh, which can be done uh, through, through the, I mean, with the uh, Da Vinci, with uh, less pain and less blood loss, and allows you to keep your uterus and the integrity of your uterus in case uh, you might have been having trouble having, uh, having becoming pregnant or, become, or having a baby. So um, another use is uh, in removal of endometriosis, uh, which is where some tissue actually falls out of the fallopian tube and it sometimes lands around the ovaries and fallopian tubes. It, 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 it comes out of the uterus and it lands in the fallopian tubes and the ovaries and sometimes freezes them. So that the, the usual method of, of becoming pregnant uh, and you know, picking up the egg from the fallopian tube is that he is, it, it can't do it. The da Vinci allows us to get right up close to that endometriosis. We're able to resect it more complete and therefore have a, a, a better chance of, of a patient getting pregnant. There you go, yeah. Maybe better just for, for the patients out there. Down here, they're already really scared about this term robot. Right, there. there's this big robot. Well, no, I don't want a robot to surgery. Uterus, I want you, know? you Dr. Cantu, to be doing yeah. surgery. Yeah. Yeah, which I, mean, I refer to as the Vinci surgery. Robotic surgery is really robot. Robot, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, okay. Well, but I think, I think the key here is also is to get the idea that the doctor's doing this surgery, yeah. assisted by to kind of explain what is this, what is this? I mean, you know, and then we can go around Okay. Okay. Uh, this is an exciting time in minimally invasive GYN surgery, uh, which means that we no longer need the traditional uh, in longer incisions to perform an operation. Okay? And we maintain our commitment and dedication to our patients by offering uh, the best care possible. Uh, and we do that by using state-of-the-art technology, in this case, the Da Vinci technology. If, uh, if you require a hysterectomy, which is removal of a uterus for reasons such as bleeding or pain or ovarian cysts or fibroids, I strongly recommend the Da Vinci technology because by using its superior 3D visualization and its uh, access, we're able to uh, three or four small incisions that are usually less than half an inch uh, in diameter introduce some very small and intricate and very delicate instruments uh, through our trocars 
and perform some very uh, delicate and complex surgery. So when you do robotic surgery, is there is there a robot in the room with you, or, or why do they call it robotic surgery? Yeah, they they call it robotic surgery because uh, indeed there is a robot. A, there there's robot robotic arms that are connected to a console, where I'm actually uh, doing the surgery from a console. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, there, there is there's robotic arms that are connected to a console. I'm actually sitting at the console. I'm actually doing the surgery. I'm actually using some very finesse movements with my hands that actually allow these very uh, delicate instruments to, to, to do the surgery. Uh, and by coming very close, by, by coming very close to the tissue, um, the, the, the camera and the robotic arm allows us to get, to, to actually identify the anatomy uh, even better than the naked eye allows. We're able to get up closer to tissue and we're able to identify blood vessels uh, better. Mm. So uh, the benefits of, of uh, the benefits of, uh, of the Da Vinci technology include uh, several and they all start with the, with the word less. You have less movement of the tissue, less blood loss, less pain, um, less of a chance of having a wound infected. Uh, that leads to less stay in the hospital and that means uh, a quicker recovery and a faster return to your usual activities including work, usually within two weeks as opposed to the usual six to eight weeks. Other, other indications of the robot uh, include uh, removal of fibroids. Some patients have difficulty getting pregnant because they have fibroids or tumors in the uterus where they're bleeding and having pain. We can actually remove these fibroids with the Da Vinci technology uh, and allows less blood loss, less pain, and a lot of times patients can, can become pregnant uh, uh, thereafter. That leads me to another condition called endometriosis. Some tissue from inside the uterus actually goes out the fallopian tube and can land on the fallopian tube or the ovary. And that can cause infertility because the, uh, the usual process of becoming pregnant is, is, is uh, uh, impaired. The Da Vinci technology, the Da Vinci arms allows us to get closer to the, to the uh, scar tissue. Uh, that's around the fallopian tube and the ovary that allows us to resect these endometriosis tissues and, uh, uh, and, and hopefully the infertile patient will have a better chance of becoming pregnant. Okay. Um, I hope you join in our vision uh, of a new era in medicine where minimally invasive surgery is becoming more and more common. Okay. We're very fortunate in our area uh, in the Rio Grande Valley to have this technology available to us. Uh, in particularly, Valley Baptist Medical Center in Harlingen and Valley Baptist Medical Center in Brownsville. And I would add this ask you, so where do you think um, robotic surgery is going? What's next? What's yeah. next for yeah. robotic? Well, uh, currently robotic surgery is being performed in the pelvis and in the abdomen. is being used primarily by urologists. They remove, they're able, able to remove kidneys and different cancers around the kidney and the ureters and bladders. Obviously gynecologists are working in the pelvis and soon uh, cardiology uh, will be doing. What is it? Hmm? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and, 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 um, and, uh, and, and later, uh, and also general surgeons are using robots to remove gallbladders from single site. So you have one small incision to remove your gallbladder as opposed to the, right now we have three or four, okay? And later on, the future is to have in, uh, single site hysterectomies where you have one little incision and we're able to do the whole procedure through that, 